They say home is where the heart is. And for me, it's always been the ocean. My childhood curiosity blossomed as I explored the coral reefs surrounding our island. I found life in the smallest rock pools and enjoyed gazing out at the endless horizon. Unfortunately, much has changed within the short 19 years of my life and the ocean is no longer the same place I once knew. Each time I dive around Pigeon Island and the surrounding reefs of Trincomalee, it's hard not to notice the visible decline in the health of our reefs and the loss of biodiversity. Something I now frequently encounter during my dives are signs of coral bleaching, a consequence of global warming. Corals are incredibly sensitive habitats, so even a slight rise in the water temperature could trigger these corals to expel the algae living in their tissue. This results in the once colorful coral reefs turning white in color, and this leads them to be more vulnerable to die from starvation and disease. The moment a reef ecosystem collapses, it not only harms marine life like fish, crabs, and turtles, that rely on the reefs for sustenance and protection from predators, but it also affects us humans. Every time a striking white coral catches my eye, my heart sinks. I believe it's the ocean's way of crying for help, a final reminder that we can't afford to stay silent or turn a blind eye, as the damage we all are making is irreversible. That's why I believe today holds importance to make the right decisions and to unify our voices. Trust me, there is so much more worth fighting for. If we choose the correct path today, in 10 to 15 years, we can ensure that our children would grow up witnessing the same beauty we were fortunate enough to experience. <laughs>